And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host, Jonathan, once again, bringing you my thoughts and review for this past week's episode of DC's and HBO Max's show, Peacemaker Episode 4, starring John Cena. Now, in this episode, we get to see the, I guess, the aftermath of what happened with Project Butterfly. Now, if you don't know, Project Butterfly apparently is the task force's new mission to infiltrate um, a bunch of these, like, pixie fairy type creatures that are taking over people's minds and bodies and basically controlling them for their own personal gain. Now, when we saw the last time we saw John Cena, uh, Peacemaker, um, him and um, Vigilante were being tortured. Obviously, Peacemaker didn't want to give up anything. And then, obviously, they get saved by the team. They get they escape, and now they're basically trying to figure out a new game plan. While that's happening, also, Peacemaker decides he needs to figure out how to get his father out of prison after the team pretty much framed him for Peacemaker's crime. Now, granted, Peacemaker was being attacked by an alien, but, you know, the government and the police won't, 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 don't know that yet. They don't know that kind of information. They don't want, they need to keep it under wraps. Well, that's also, help also going down there. They have Judo Master tied up, locked up, because honestly, I thought they got rid of him because, you know, um, the guy with the beard, he kept smashing him. He hit him with the car and he kept I hit him with a pipe, you know, all Joker to Robin style kind of in a, in a vein of a, like a comic book version way, but he was still alive. He escapes, he starts to do his thing, and then he was trying to run. And then, of course, uh, Peacemaker decides, you know what, we, can, we need to have another round. They start fighting, and then, of course, Amanda Waller's daughter <laughs> shoots Judo Master right in the chest. And apparently, the guy survived. So, like, I don't know what this guy's deal is. <laughs> I just find it funny that the guy gets hit by a car gets smacked around by a crowbar, and now gets shot. Oh, yeah, by the way, Peacemaker put his head through a glass wall, glass window, you know, car window, and the guy still survives, so that's pretty cool. We also get a pretty cool moment between Vigilante, who decides, I'm going to put myself in prison so I can take out Peacemaker's dad, because Peacemaker's dad is an asshole. So, go figure. You know, he's a racist person, and he wants to give it up him. For Peacemaker's sake. Apparently, Peacemaker, when he was a kid, his brother got killed or something like that. Or he had to kill his brother because, I don't know. It was very interesting to see that. But apparently, his father treated not only Peacemaker badly, but also his brother badly. And basically trained them to be assassin killers at that time. To, um, you know, to train them to be who they are today. His brother didn't make it. Now Chris is basically dealing with the fact that, yeah, people still don't like him. His father's in prison. His father still doesn't approve of him. And he doesn't know what to do about that. And then, of course, at the end, we get the big reveal that one of the members of the the task force, the leader, uh, the guy with the curly hair, the black, the black guy, um, he, I forgot his name, He he's a butterfly now. So that's very interesting. And also... Peacemaker had a butterfly inside his apart his house or um, trailer in a jar. Very odd. Also, I, I do find it very interesting that they call them butterflies, but then when they look like pixies, go figure. I mean, if you look at them really closely, they look like pixie creatures. But I don't know. I mean, who knows where this is going to end up? This can totally, totally see um, in the direction of Setting up the Blue Beetle, which I have that theory of, that they could set up the Blue Beetle stuff because we are getting a Blue Beetle movie pretty soon. Or it could set up something completely different. We just don't know yet. Or it could set up nothing. Who knows? Oh, we also get to see uh, Peacemaker's dad's armor suit. Apparently, he was he's a white dragon from the comic books. I don't know too much about the character. All I know he's a, a racist character and he has like this white armor Iron monger looking suit, very cool looking. It looked a really, really cool. You know the the armor when you see it in, in the background of that dimensional closet that he has, because Pe Peacemaker goes in there to take some helmets and equipment out of there. So it was cool to see the armor and how comic book accurate it was. Um, but yeah, good episode. 
listen, I, I think this show is great so far. I feel like James Gunn really knows how to make these characters cool and us as the audience caring about them. I thought he, I think he does a really good job with these characters a lot. And I'm having a good time with it. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about Peacemaker Episode 4. And what do you think is going to happen now that one of their own team members is now compromised? Do you think they're going to find out right away? Do you think they're going to be surprised when they find out? What do you think is going to happen? And also, Amanda Waller's daughter is kind of like doing her own secret mission. Because you know how Amanda Waller, she always has that, oh yeah, here's the main mission. But I want you to make sure you do your own mission. Kind of like how Peacemaker had to do his own thing to get those files and keep them away from, the, you know, the press and all that stuff. Just like how we did that in the movie. So what do you think she's up to? You think she's up to no good? Because she's still having doubts about being a killer and shooting people. But I, I think it's all an act. I think she's just pretending to do all that stuff so she can keep her cover because she's the daughter of Amanda Waller. So it wouldn't make sense. And how long before we find out the truth about what's her actual mission? So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. Thank you very much and have a good day.